Woody Show. And uh, Greg Gore is calling mm-hmm. this the 10 to 12 minute variety hour. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and there's not going to be a whole lot of variety. It's just two things that are my favorite things in a variety show. And those are magic and comedy. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Two yeah. things I don't know how to do. <laughs> okay. Two things yeah. I had to teach myself how to do. I'm sorry, do we have any responsibility in uh, any of this? Like, uh, um... Ravy does and Sammy does a okay. tiny bit. Okay. Right. We're going to start right. with the magic portion <gasps> because Ooh. Ooh. Ravy has always been accused of being a vault and that we don't know much Ooh. about She's the what... Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chamber of Secrets. So I will attempt to read Ravy's mind. Oh, oh damn. Good so luck here. I'm just going to yeah. ask you to think of a couple things for me. Me. Three things actually. Sammy, have your whiteboard ready to go. I know you're a big fan of the whiteboard. Yes. And I'm just ready. we're gonna start just real quick with a we're gonna attempt to read Ravy's mind. Okay. Hey. Starting with Ravy, just think of any state in the country. All right. Okay. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I've written my guess down. Okay. okay. You mean you've written you're written your mind reading. I've, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> yes. My I've, my factual. And now mm-hmm. That my guess is written down. Mm-hmm. Tell Sammy to write on her whiteboard what state you were thinking. Pennsylvania. Okay. Now, Ravy, I'm going to try to figure out any color that you're thinking of. Okay. Are you thinking of a color? I am. Oh. Does it have to be like a basic? Yeah, just mm-hmm. color whatever. of the rainbow. Okay. You know, like okay. fancy. Right. Sherwin Williams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Salmon. Periwinkle. <laughs> Sage. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now tell Sammy that I have my guests written down what you were thinking. Purple. Okay. Purple. <laughs> Raven's purple. You shut your damn mouth. And then lastly, just a quick multiple choice. Mm-hmm. Because I know they're your favorites, but mm-hmm. I'm not sure which is. Hockey or football? Mm. Okay. Hmm. Wouldn't you be able to read her mind? Well, I should. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. He's okay, gotcha. Abilities. Okay, yeah, yeah. Football. Okay. So she, you put football? Yeah. So Sammy, so now that we have written proof on Sammy's, okay. I will hand <laughs> these to Ravy to read my guesses. Okay. Out loud. Greg's guesses out loud. The state I was thinking of. Greg wrote down Pennsylvania. Wow. 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 Really going out on a limb on that one. <laughs> All right. The color I was thinking of. Greg wrote down Purple. What? what? Now that one, okay. What? I'll give you that. And he wrote down football. I would have thought hockey, but I was feeling football. Wow. wow. Okay, good. Wow. So, that is really good. I mean, that Damn. was some serious okay. mind reading. All right. I the mean, purple? That yeah. is out of nowhere. Right? Yep. <laughs> I would have thought black. You know what's crazy about that trick? Not just anybody can do that. No, not anybody yeah, can Greg, do that. I have a question. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> the, the purple one, no, uh, that's really good. As a professional, like what did we need Sammy for there? Uh, just to have proof that she couldn't say, oh, I said yellow. Just, yeah, just a backup. Just yeah. backup. Just yeah. backup. In case everyone couldn't hear. Hey, this is backup. Yep. This like is uh, Greg's segment. Just a backup. I, I, you calm I have down. questions. Like, you know, when yeah, uh, AG... This is how every segment gets ruined. It's called with magic. The right. it's right. Right. When you go to a magic show, do you stand up and ask questions? No, but on AGT <laughs> and on like Penn and Teller Fool Us, they do have some conversing. Do they mm. not? That is true. That would yeah. be in true variety yeah. form. And when we went to... Who was the magician we saw? We kind of had some. David there. Copperfield. David Copperfield. Yes, yeah. that's right. And he hates my guts. Right? <laughs> His menace blew a trick. <laughs> <laughs> now, the second part of the Greg Gorey 10 to 12 minute part variety awesome. hour, part yeah, yeah, one yeah. ruled and was flawless. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on to something that I wanted to do a long time ago, yeah. even before Menace did his monologues of his mm-hmm. weekly wrap ups, because yeah. I've always enjoyed the comedy portion of a variety show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm going to attempt to do stand up for the yes! first time yes! ever. Yes! Oh. Never stand done up. it before. Is it stand Love up, stand it. up, or like the, the, the a monologue, like week in the news? Uh, no, it's more of a just a stand, stand up. Stand but up. although I'll be sitting down, so this is my sitting down stand up. All right, oh, I love it. Up. Oh, it's sitting down stand up. Yeah, yeah. sitting down stand up. Hell yeah! So, and I should start by saying it's great to be here, and you guys are a good looking audience. I should say that. Yeah, but that wouldn't be accurate. But that wouldn't be accurate. <laughs> yeah. Now, don't get me wrong; it is good to be here. I just never thought I'd be taking my first stab at stand up inside a dusty radio studio, uh, studio surrounded by sober people. <laughs> Uh, those are my least favorite kind of people, but with our schedule, at least we get to drive to work with a bunch of drunk people. That's a plus. Oh, now, a very wise, very good-looking man once said, don't say I have to, say I get to. We get to go to work. I get to go to work, and I get to have a job, and that's a great thing. Uh, a bunch of years ago, I had actually lost my job, lost my Porsche, came out of the closet, lost my marriage. Then I lost my house. I mean, it was one giant orgasm of a time, but after all that, 
I got to live my true life. And then I got gonorrhea. Attitude booster. Yeah. <laughs> good for the attitude. Kidding. Uh, but seriously, it is good to be here. We do have a weird job working in radio. We bust each other's balls a lot. It's constant. That part can be difficult. Recently, I got heat for saying my goal is to pocket enough money so I can do nothing with my life. And from what you're hearing right now, you're probably realizing that nothing is what I'm really best at. Hey. 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 Definitely a weird job. I mean, I can't imagine another work situation where I get crapped on for just about everything. Like, I don't know, the age difference between me and my partner, Mario. Like, when I was in high school, he was still eating baby food. <laughs> and not long from now, he's going to have to get high to deal with the fact that I will be eating baby food. <laughs> oh! Dang it! <laughs> There's a... a 14 year difference between me and him. 14 years, almost as long as it takes most people in this room to read a book. Oh, <laughs> almost as long as the host of our show to read our text number. Two, <laughs> two, nine, <laughs> eight, seven. Oh! Uh, speaking of my coworkers, I do love them. They're my friends, most of them. Uh, but they're, they're just a weird group of people. I have this one coworker, talk about weird. She can't stand guns. The only movies she likes are total fantasy movies, stuff that could never happen in real life. And yet, she's the only one who's ever done meth. That's the one thing that's a mix of gun-loving rednecks and actual factual science. Oh! <laughs> and then she's so jaded with her good luck, she thinks everybody is just as lucky as her. I mean, you'd think she'd be more down to earth. She's like 4'11". Get it! Get it! Get it! Literally down to earth. <laughs> Get it, I, Greg! I have this other coworker. He's pretty weird. He's always telling me, you're old and white, which is true. But it's just <laughs> odd to hear it from a 44-year-old Irish guy who could literally blend in with a pack of polar bears. <laughs> and he's totally into purses and makeup. And uh, The thing he loves most is wieners. So yeah. some people think, Hmm, maybe he's gay. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But I can tell you, he's not gay. He's given me a bunch of mouth parties, and they're all teeth. Oh. <laughs> okay. And it's not easy being in any workplace. I mean, I get it. Just getting to work can be a struggle, because I'm constantly yelling and screaming and hitting the steering wheel. I mean, how things have changed. When I got divorced and I started dating guys, yelling and screaming and hitting the steering wheel meant the date was going great, and I would actually remember the guy's name. Yeah. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. But we have to work to pay the bills. We have to put up with coworkers. I have this other coworker. He's always giving me a hard time for believing in ghosts or not believing in calories. But do I make fun of him for believing what he believes? No. He believes he's this young, handsome millennial. He doesn't believe that in reality, he's Gen X, looks like a middle-aged lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Ellen ever made a biopic, he could be her stand-in. <laughs> And then we all deal with stuff like that, those weird coworkers. That one guy, he looks, you know, thinks he be he believes he looks interesting or cool if he wears sunglasses or like patterned sweatsuits. I don't give him a hard time for believing that, even though he actually looks like an old Chinese lady at a casino or Elton John in Palm Springs. <laughs> and then another thing we all deal with having to go to work is having the weird co-workers my job though right. the job itself is just plain weird if it wasn't for my job i wouldn't even know that britney spears wrote a book of all people and i have to learn useless crap like that and because of my job i learned that britney had an abortion after getting pregnant with justin timberlake's baby which is a very good thing no matter how you feel about abortion because justin dodged a bullet and if she had the baby the baby would be dodging knives <laughs> And it sucks for the kids that she did have because they're thinking our dad could have been JT, but instead it's Kevin effing Federline. <laughs> I know we're 17 and 18, but is it too late for us to be a born? Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. And I, and I, I'm ashamed that because of my job, I know what Scandaval is. I know who the Thousand Pound Sisters are. I know that Demi Lovato did an interview. She was asked what her favorite dish is, and she said, no joke. A coffee mug. But she's a multimillionaire, <laughs> and I'm the one who got gonorrhea. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Uh, work is usually not fair. I have this other coworker. If I'm being honest, he's pretty much the grumpiest, most cynical one out of the entire group. Always so serious. I mean, I guess making the most money out of a staff of 10, having the biggest house and the fanciest cars really does break your spirit. I would be pissed. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> and, Get and he's the one. He's the one who's always saying, our jobs aren't that important. We're not curing cancer. And he's totally right, 100% right. But then behind the scenes, he acts like playing recordings of farts or reading stories about dudes huffing air duster before banging an actual legal cow will somehow stave off the next pandemic. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, point being, until wine flows from faucets and rent and mortgages get paid by the money ferry, you know, the way college <laughs> students believe the world should work, we all have to work. We all get to work, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. we can live happily ever after with that special somebody who was in diapers when you started driving, and they'll change your diapers when you're done with all the weirdos. So thank you, it was great to be here, and you really are a beautiful crowd. Good wow. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Very Magic nice. and comedy Easy. in one variety yeah. show. Wow, Greg. Wow. Love it. I mean, really. <laughs> and it was 10 to 12 minutes. Excellent. Oh, man. <laughs> Nailed it. I think yeah. it was 11 minutes. So as advertised. Right? Yeah. We don't so lie. Good. That was perfect. Gonna, we're not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the power of mind reading is Dude, real. I'm still blown away by the purple thing. <laughs> I'm still freaking out over purple, honestly. <laughs> I'm just glad Sammy helped. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> nice. For verification. Uh, right. And she dodged all the darts. That's oh, true. Wow. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Next time, Sammy. Next time, Sammy. <laughs> Coming for you. All yeah. right. Greg's Tuesday Takeover, hey. everybody. Yeah.